and welcome back to Cotton Creations. So today I'm excited because I have another DIY project for you guys. And what I'm gonna be showing you is how to do a tiered round centerpiece that's three feet tall. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next awesome video. Let's hop into it. So to get started, I'm gonna take my two wooden dowels and I'm gonna just spray paint those with some gold spray paint. I'm gonna put about two, I think I did two or three coats on all sides. So next I'm gonna start working on my acrylic stand and I'm actually gonna be using the base from my balloon centerpiece um, as a starting point. So I'll put the link to that in the description box in case you need to reference that portion. And then I'm going to get started on the new part. So next I'm going to start working on the top of the stand. And the first thing I'm going to do is take these rod brackets that are normally used for curtain rods. And I got them from Home Depot and I'm going to just manipulate them so that the ends are flat. So what I'm going to use is some pliers and I'm going to flatten out both ends so that the circle pieces meet and line up properly. So take a look and see how I do that. And this is what it should look like once you're done that step. The next step that we're gonna do is we're actually going to open up the little hook part just a little more in order for the hula hoop to sit down inside of those brackets. So what I'm gonna do is take a marker and I'm just going to mark where the center of the acrylic plate is so that I can properly line up the brackets um, into four equal sections. And if your hula hoop is too big, which mine was, uh, what I ended up doing is using the box cutter and lighter trick that I did in my previous balloon centerpiece tutorial, which I said again is gonna be in the description box. And all you have to do is heat up the blade of the box cutter and just slice off the excess. I also use my blow dryer to form a tighter circle for the hula hoop. Um, so that is also in that tutorial. I'm gonna be using these Phillip head uh, screws and washers to attach the brackets to the acrylic plate. And I got those from Home Depot as well. So what I'm doing, once the brackets are lined up, I'm gonna use that marker just to make a mark of where I need to drill the holes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drill my holes and make sure during this entire process that you keep the blue or clear or white film that comes on the acrylic plate. It's very important to keep that on so that you protect your sur the surface as well as um, making sure that you don't get any marker, um, any marks from your marker on the actual acrylic plate itself. So then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to test and make sure that my first hole is the right size and I'm just gonna put in the screw and make sure that it is properly, properly secured. And as you can see, I'm showing you two different ways. I'll show you um, the way that I did it in the final project, but you can apply these either way. All right, so I'm just gonna do a final check to make sure that the hula hoop is the right size and that it does fit down inside the brackets. And once you're satisfied with that, you're ready to move on to the next step. 
Now it's time to weld the other end of the acrylic stand to the plate that we just drilled our holes in. And so I'm just gonna be using the plastic welding glue to do that. So you first have to hold it down firm and then apply the plastic welding glue. And you have to hold it there for about two to three minutes. And once that time frame has gone by, it should be, um, tacky enough to hold itself in place and then what I like to do is I like to go back over it like I don't know four or five different times with more coats um, leaving about a few minutes to 30 minutes in between and then like the last coat I'll wait like an hour to apply and then I let this dry overnight. After it's done drying, this is what it should look like. And I added the brackets. Well, I took off the film and then I added the brackets onto the acrylic plate. And then as you can see, I took my wooden dowels and I also added those to my stand. Now, I eventually have to change the positioning of the wooden dowel, so I would highly recommend that you do not glue them on just yet. Um, and actually, I didn't glue mine on at all because they were pretty sturdy. Next, I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm just going to start gluing on my acrylic garland. And I put garland all around the center acrylic um, pipe. And then later you'll see I will add some more just to the acrylic plate as well. So I got this round hard floral foam from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use a box cutter just to cut it in the middle. Now, one thing that I would highly recommend, I didn't end up using this because it snapped on me when I went to go pull it around the wooden dowels and the center of the acrylic rod. So I ended up having to use a backup piece of foam, which was a little too small to get it to fit around the center, but it ended up working um, nonetheless. So, what I would recommend if you have no other option but the first floral foam, the green one that I showed you, I would recommend that you cut it in half, like so that it's two pieces. And then what you could do is you can hot glue it back together once it is properly positioned around the centerpiece. Um, if you are working with a softer piece of foam, like I was for the second one, that should um, work fine in terms of getting it around with just having to cut it in one place. So next what I'm going to do is apply some florals around my hula hoop. I'm just going to use some zip ties to do this, but I would highly recommend that you use either a pool noodle or some floral foam and just um, stick your florals into the floral foam. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my florals to the center uh, floral foam, and I'm just going to stick some hydrangea heads in there as well as some roses. I did um, add some hot glue to the wooden dowels and uh, the floral foam just so that it would stay in place because it was sliding. So I just dabbed a little bit of hot glue on each of the wooden dowels and then pressed the floral foam up against it. Now I'm ready to add my hula hoop with my florals onto the top of the stand. And I'm just gonna make sure that the hula hoop is sitting down in the brackets, nice and snug.
Now, I did want to add a little bit more bling, so I went back in and added some more acrylic garland. One thing that I want you to know about the wooden dowels is I probably would cut them um, down just a little so that I can have them going straight up and down opposed to like a V shape. But I don't mind this shape, but if you want to get it closest as possible to the inspiration photo, um, you would have to cut them down slightly to get them to go straight up and down. And here's the final look. I added some orchids and some more hydrangeas hanging off the side, like the inspiration photo. And like I said, I added more acrylic garland and the roses to the center, and I love it. So yeah, that's it. This is the final look. All right, so I love this centerpiece. It's so like over the top and dramatic and yeah. So with this particular centerpiece, there definitely were a few things that I would do differently. Um, as I mentioned before, that center round foam, I would definitely raise that up so that it is uh, more in the middle and has like equal parts on either side of it. Just visually, it looks better in the middle. Unfortunately, my bigger round floral foam snapped on me. So I had to use the backup piece, which wasn't wide enough to go up to the middle. Also too, with the um, wooden dowels, I would totally cut those. Unfortunately, I just ordered a jigsaw and it's not here yet. So I couldn't cut mine down and I bought them way, 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 way like months ago. So I didn't get them cut at the time because I didn't know what size I needed. Um, but I would totally uh, cut those down so you can put them straight up and down like the inspiration photo. I don't mind them being tilted uh, more in a V shape, but if you were trying to get an exact match to the inspiration photo, you would need to cut them down. But you want to keep them nice and snug because they do add support and balance for your acrylic frame. So when it comes to the wider round piece at the very top, I would highly recommend um, adding some, either a pool noodle or floral foam, just so you can get that really, really, really um, big volume at the top. Um, I thought that wrapping the uh, hydrangeas around the hula hoop was going to give me that effect. But as you can tell, I had to go back and add in some actual hydrangea um, heads. So to get that nice full volume like the inspiration photo, you would definitely want to add either floral foam or use a pool noodle and you can uh, zip tie those or glue them to around the edge of the um, acrylic plate. So as you guys know, I'll include all the supplies and the materials list down below in the description box. And then I also will include the links to all the acrylic materials that I ordered off of Amazon. So if you have any questions, please drop them down below in the comment section. If you like this video, you already know what to do. Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next awesome video. Thanks for watching.